the Plagiolapus Ant Care Guide. One of my smallest queen ants is the Plagiolapus, but they require a lot of special care due to their small size, which means they can drown easily. Let's talk about the care guide. Before we start, please go ahead and like this video, or else I'm going to steal all your queen ants when you sleep. If you're watching this, you probably caught or bought a queen or colony, and this video will help you a lot in taking care of them. First of all, if you have a small colony, you have to place them in a really small test tube to make them more comfortable. Of course, you have to provide other essentials like water and small little drops of sugar water every four days and protein weekly. If you have medium-sized colonies, you should move them into a nest that is escape-proof and they have to fit at least 40% of the nest size so that they feel more comfortable. I caught a couple of queens from a multi-queen colony and they are doing pretty well with everything. They don't cost much because of their size, which makes them cute. If you don't know what type of protein to feed your colony, try mealworms or small insects that have meat on them. Plagiolopus usually don't need a lot of heat, but would help them grow. My queens took two months from eggs to workers. If your workers drown, also try using a sugar water cotton setup. If you are looking for nests, try looking for macro nests for small ant species. Remember, do not place them in giant nests because Plagiolepis ants are escape artists. Make sure to minimize vibrations to increase egg development and do not check on them often. At last, Plagiolepis is a really cool species and you should definitely keep them. Thank you for watching another one of my videos so it would help a lot of you support this career of mine by subscribing to me.